Welcome back. Our friends at the Portland Playhouse are back at it. Their new production is taking off to explore the many forms of protest and resistance. One key thing to keep in mind is that this is an immersive protest journey that is both participatory and transformative. We'll learn more about it and we're going to dive in with the composer and co-creator Daryl Grant and Oluyinka Akinjiola. Guys, thank you so much. I, I took my time on, on the pronunciation. Well Wanted to get it well just done. right. <laughs> thank you so much for being here first thank off. You. So you got to tell me a little more about this production. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Do you want to start? Um, sure. So I think we've been working on this for about two years, actually. We got a, a Creative Heights grant from the Oregon Community Foundation, proposed to do this piece that really talked about the history of protest, but not just, I mean, obviously inspired by what we've gone through here in Portland with the, you know, the 100 days of protest, but also thinking about um, the voices of black protest across countries, um, you know, through cultures. And so this piece kind of evolved and looking at <coughs> not just protests from the sort of angry part, but all of, all of what we do as, as uh, you know, our joy, our our rest, all these sort of ways, of, different ways of looking at protest. And so um, Romana Lisa Alexander and Charles called um, Olinka and myself to sort of collaborate and put this multimedia piece together. I love that. And you made such a good point because uh, I, I didn't know until I got here how big protest was in Portland. Mm. And mm -hmm. my, my cousin let me know when I was coming here, I was like, they, they do it all the time. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and, and all of that. So this. This production is, I feel like, going to shine a light uh, on that. And I've also heard the most, and I agree, the most American thing you can do is protest. Mm, you know, absolutely. that's how we got started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell me how you brought this to life. So uh, part of our journey was figuring out what does it mean to protest? What does it mean to us? And part of my process as the choreographer was to look at how do we protest as black people and black people across the African diaspora through generations, through our lived experiences. So I started to do some research into New Orleans and second line traditions as a form of protest as joy, taking up space, but then looking at ring shout traditions from the Gullah Geechee communities of the corridor from South Carolina to Florida and ring shout traditions from plantation era and mm. how we've maintained our um, sense of humanity and spirituality through traditions. So all that is kind of like part of what bubbles up through Afrolytical. Um, wow. On different nights, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Each night is, you know, of the five nights is or five shows of the week are, have a different, a different focus. Okay, yeah. so yeah, I, I was gonna hit that also. There, there are five different nights and each night is kind of a different experience. Mm -hmm. So you gotta pick your night carefully. Absolutely. <laughs> Work on yeah. all of them. Yeah, that's yeah. true, that, that too. <laughs> and I've also heard that this is not only immersive, but participatory mm -hmm. with the, the audience. You got to let us know because I want to play my part. If I'm going to come see it, I don't want to mess up. Well. <laughs> what, do you, what do you expect the audience to uh, do or how are they participating in this? Well, we guide you through the experience. It also depends on the night you choose to okay. come. Um, so we invite you in. We uh, bring in the idea of giving offerings. But on Wednesday night, maybe you might Im be involved in the chaos. Or uh, Thursday, you are invoked to connect with your gospel roots. Oh, wow. Friday, you may engage in acts of stillness and rest is resistance. Saturday, we may <laughs> want to engage you in accepting who you are and dancing and celebrating um, your existence. And Sunday, we invite you to second line with us. Wow. This, this is such an original idea. I love that because we, we are seeing so many, just like in media in general, kind of like remakes and, and reimagining mm -hmm. of different stories. But I love when we get an yeah. original idea mm -hmm. that, you know, you can tell things go into it to bring it to life. I love that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much to both of you for oh, being thank here. You. And we're going to get a little sneak peek of the performance when we get back. Thank you so much again.